Next, now let's look at REST API and how we can implement it in that frog. So we'll create a new route specifically for API. Just head over to the new terminal. That frog new root, we'll call it API, REST API. And then let's create the middleware. So if you come here, here is our folder API, REST API, and here are our two files. Now let's work on them. So what we'll do in our REST API, it's quite simple. We'll, uh, nothing much, uh, to be honest. We'll just, we'll just call the request logger middleware. So we'll just say return handler.use request logger and we're done with our middleware now let's go to our index here is our index there we have it in here we're going to perform a http request so we'll need the http that package i'll just come here create that pub add http and we're going to access one api from rapid api uh, i'll leave the link to the to it in the description box below so let's start by first thing re deleting this we won't have any switch case because it's just perform we'll just have one switch case that is a get just to control what type of request is passed here. So we'll just do a return switch, passing the method. And what you want to handle is a get. Then we come here and define a function called get recipes. Let's paste it here and pass in the context. Next, we're just going to define the default case. Future.value, define the response. Status code to HTTP status that method not allowed if we get it here let's see okay we need to pass request context as a parameter i'll just add in the semicolon now let's work on our function So inside this function we just do the regular http requests that we do even on in flutter so we just do an await http.get and then we'll pass in the URL. Our URL, let me just copy it from Rapid API. There we have it. Let me just set it to single quotes. There we have it. So we're just getting random recipes. Then we're going to add in the headers. So let's come here, specify the headers. So there are specific headers that are required by Rapid API. So let's just specify them to be in the form of an object. So we'll have, uh, let me just copy it exactly as is to avoid any mistakes so we'll have that and then you specify your key over here and then 
the next header would be x rapid api host and then you specify your host here uh, so you need to have an account with rapid api just log in access this specific uh, api that i'm actually accessing and you'll get um, these specific configurations and after that let's just close this and whatever we expect let's import http import package http http as http let's just organize our imports there we have it and there is our get request mm, let's see I need to pass this in a uri pass then paste okay cut uri dot pass paste now that we have that, let's initialize whatever is returned into a variable. Let's call it a response. And then inside this response, we'll just do a check if response dot status code is equals to 200. Inside here, we just return response dot JSON. And our body will contain the random recipes that the random recipe that we have received let's enter that else let's return a response and specify the status code as dot, dot request and there we have it we have created a simple get uh, rest uh, in interacted with a sim uh, implemented rest api been uh, interacting with a specific request a specific api called low carb recipes where we're getting a a random recipe from this uh, api that's actually hosted in rapid api so we need to test this make sure you have added your key and your host now let's proceed to our terminal and test this We will do a call request get now let's specify our root as it should delete all this and add api rest api and as we click on enter as you can see we have received a list of rest random recipes here and once we pick them from the app level we'll be able to design them beautifully so that you get to see it's one recipe actually called the keto beef bone broth and it has tags it has different keys a description and ingredients and all that we'll get to display that properly so that's how the simple way of actually interacting with rest api in that frog let's proceed to the next lesson